Yo, what's going on, everybody? Ryan the Mighty Quinn here, the cornerman underscore MMA. UFC fight night, UFC San Antonio is this weekend. Um, pretty fun card to watch. That main event cannot wait for. I've been waiting for it since it's been announced, like, what, three months ago now between uh, Corey Sanhagen and Chito Vera and uh, Holly Holm versus Yana. Uh, you know, I was going to screw up her name, Kunit Sakaya, uh, Santos, Tiago Santos' wife. Um, yeah, top heavy card for sure. Top heavy card. However, I really like the last preliminary fight. You know, I like to focus on that stuff between uh, Daniel Pineda and Tucker Lutz or Lutz. A um, uh, lot of interesting stuff there. Uh, I I think that fight's going to end in a finish. To be honest with you, uh, both guys are there, and um, they both do like to stand. Uh, it depends what, what night shows up what we're going to see here, but there's going to be a lot to break down within that fight, specifically if, if either guy can adjust, but either way. All right. So let's break them down. Um, I'm going to go, I'm going to go stand up. I'm going to go overall with, uh, I'm going to go overall with Pineda, the way he just throws those bombs and everything. He just gives you a lot to think about on his feet and then wrestling as well. Um, I'm going to lean slightly towards Pineda. I don't think that either wrestling is so fantastic. Uh, And then on the ground, I'm going to go with Lutz. So let's break it down. Let's start with uh, uh, Trevor Lutz. Now, how does he win? Um, Or Tucker Lutz, I'm sorry. Uh, In his last fight, uh, he kind of just stood there. He took the center, but he didn't really do much. Now, he has a really long, really long range, which he really needs to use in this fight. Let me tell you. He needs to activate those one twos all day. Activate those one twos all day. And he's not going to drop a level change and take down Pineda here. He's too aggressive. Pineda's uh, too compact. So he really needs to get down those one twos. Work those hands and keep that range. Pineda tends to like stand there with his hands way down. You know, I wouldn't even um, mess with kicks if I'm Lutz because Pineda will eat some punches to uh, eat some strikes to gobble those up and take him down. Now, Lutz needs to get those one twos activated and step off line. One, two, step off line. Two, one, step off line. Keep it cookie cutter. Don't get crazy. And if you're standing, this is one thing. If he's standing, if his feet stop moving, his head needs to start moving because he's going to get rocked with some bombs. I'll tell you that right now. One, two, one, two, keep it moving. One, two, keep it moving. Now, if I'm Danny, you know, he's an equal amount of danger on his feet as Lutz is. This is a very interesting fight. It's kind of like what mistakes will be made to end it. So he likes to throw bombs. I don't even think the guy knows how to jab. But when he throws those bombs, he can't just admire his work, as we say in striking. Oh, look, I rocked him. I would even say unless he's unless there's blood in the water and there's a knockdown that took place, he needs to go for a takedown off the bat. You know, he just the way he throws wily bombs, uh, he's he and he goes for takedowns. That's how he's going to get successful here. You know, he's going to be too far off balance to just keep throwing hooks from both sides and overhands from both sides. So he's he needs to chew up that clock on the bottom. Now, also, you know, like I said, he wrestles, but tends he doesn't do a very good job usually of striking to wrestling. So he really needs to here. He needs to use those bombs to transition to his takedowns. Why, why is that? Because that's going to get loose to cover up. And then he's going to go on underneath, you know, or he's going to knock him off balance with his punches. When he, sh- when he shot in his last few fights, he just shoots without setting anything up with punches. You know, he doesn't go boxing to wrestling. He goes boxing, stop, then wrestling. There's a big difference. If you watch his last fight with Feely, you're going to see exactly what I'm talking about. When you do it like that, your opponent's going to see your, your takedowns from a mile away. Somebody who has a really good stance like, like Tucker does, he's going to stuff that all day. And now that leads me into my next adjustment or my first uh, cornerman coach MMA adjustment. So if I'm Lutz, I'm losing this fight because I'm getting tagged up with bombs. I'm getting taken down. You know, I'm not scoring on my feet. I'm not landing my one twos. So if my adjustment is I got to establish that jab, it'll probably be, you could probably jab pretty actively on somebody like uh, Pineda because the way he likes to throw bombs, stuff like that, jabs dictate the stand up. They dictate the dance. So, when Lutz, when you're gonna, when what you're gonna do there is you're gonna get that jab activated. You're gonna get Pineda to start shooting from far away, like I said prior. That's where you time your guillotines and you time your counteroffensive grappling. That's how he would have to win this fight and finish it. So, um, going from standing to one twos, adjusting to jab, counteroffensive grappling. So now, if I am Mr. Pineda, 
if I'm Danny Boy and I'm I'm getting tagged up here, oh, I'm getting tagged up. Um, I'm, I'm catching those one twos. I can't get them in range of my bombs. I'm going to have to move my head, like I said, and start shooting my takedowns underneath those straight one twos that I spoke about of Tucker Lutz. You know, he, he's going to have to use his opponent's offense to get him in range to get those takedowns. You know, he's going to have to be counteroffensive in his own right. So the adjustments are, you know, it's going to be Tucker's adjustments going to be counteroffensive grappling. And then Pineda's adjustments, counteroffensive wrestling. That's what I got, guys. Like I said, it's going to be a fun fight to watch. I am going to be watching that fight right here on the Cornerman MMA YouTube channel. Please watch Tucker Lutz and Daniel Pineda on Saturday, roughly 6.15, 6.30, before the main card starts. Would love to hear your comments, your suggestions, your discussion, your debate. You know, that's why I like doing this stuff. All right, guys, I will see you there. Have a good one. Bye-bye.